um, also kind of setting her up on a blind date. One good turn deserves another. Whilst I'm waiting for the iron heat up, I'm going to show you my little outfit. I love wearing these loafers, super cute. Only issue is that they give me blisters, so we can't do much walking. Weather today is a little bit cloudy, grey, I'm like the weather forecaster, which is a little bit of an issue because I had planned to do a shoot today, so I'm going to reschedule for tomorrow. But what I'm going to show you right now is my Amaz unboxing. It's only something small, but it's sold out everywhere and very difficult to find. And I think it goes really well with something else I have in my collection. It is also my first item like this from Hermes. I got this Kelly belt. I love this Kelly belt because it's rose gold and I have the black Birkin 25 that I think it will go really well with. Good to have some options in the wardrobe. I am trying to build my shopping history <laughs> at the Hermes store here in New York. One step at a time. <laughs> For a lunch meeting at one o'clock and then I'm moving hotels going to Casa Cipriani. I'm wearing my little Dior skirt. It's very cool. It's shorts and then skirt. There we go. Perfect. So cool. I like it because when you sit down, you don't have to worry about it rising up. I'm wearing my Alaya white bodysuit. You've already seen my Chanel loafers. And I come back with a shirt. That is all we have time for. So this is my final look. I'm wearing my little pink Picoton bag. Shades from Cartier, and I'm ready to hit the streets of New York. It is time to leave my beautiful apartment here. It's a gorgeous hotel suite here at the Phuket's. It's been incredible. Going now to Casa Cipriani to stay one night there. Well, I had an amazing time. And now on to the next. Hello from Casa Cipriani. I am getting ready for my night out. I'm going to Casa Cipriani restaurant downstairs. I've been wanting to go to this place for a really long time. You have to be a member to get in there. If you stay in the hotel though, which is why I'm staying in the hotel, is that you get to go to the club. I love Phuket's, but this is quite different and even more spectacular. The view over the Hudson River, there's helicopters coming in, there's like boats passing, there's so much action. You see the Statue of Liberty as well, which is, I've never seen before. It's really quite spectacular. My new friend here, she's from Latvia, she invited me to go on the Hudson River on a beautiful boat but I kind of didn't, it didn't work with the timing, so I invited her for dinner tonight. I'm also kind of setting her up on a blind date. One good turn deserves another, so matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. I have to say, around this time every evening when I'm getting ready for dinner, the jet lag really hits me. So my top tips for getting over the jet lag is a single espresso shot, some hot milk on the side, and some music get me in the mood, get me hyped up. Then you have to take a cold shower and to avoid that sleepy look, hair very tight and up. To the point that you may get a headache. By the time you feel the headache, the tequila will have hit. And then you just have to stay very hydrated. I also had a conversation with a friend today about things you should never say to a partner. Number one 
You should never tell a partner, girl or guy, that you have other options, that you could go elsewhere. It's kind of like a benign comment. The comment doesn't make the other person think, oh, I should do this, I should do that. It actually often gives the opposite reaction. They think, oh, fine, go, go elsewhere, go. Go do it. That, that's the immediate response. It's a little immature, I think. Good thing about putting makeup over the makeup you're wearing is that I can just follow the line. Makeup is done. Now for the outfit. So this is my look. It's very simple. My Attico shoes. My Bottega bag. My little Celine skirt. Little black top. My jewelry. There we go. know how to iron. This is my go-to fashion trick is that never ever ever turn up with creased clothing. You could be wearing the most beautiful designer but if it looks like it just came out of your suitcase, not a good look. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> First time here. How's your Aperol spritz? Very good. I love these shades. Super cool. Wait, this restaurant is a seafood restaurant. Um, just had the cr crispy salmon. Spritz is vegetarian, so unfortunately missed out. Now I'm gonna have some eggs and salad before getting my hair done, getting ready for some photos, videos, and then going, doing a little bit of shopping uptown. Oh my gosh, wow. Super nice, feeling like a new person now. <laughs> oh, I love a good blow dry. So whilst I love my hair, I actually completely ran out of time and very much behind schedule. So I am going to my lunch in my gym kit. Can you imagine? Good. I had so many outfits planned. So anyway, making the journey uptown now. So I'm in the taxi on the way back to my hotel. It was such a beautiful day. I went to the National Library for the first time, looked at the exhibition there. There were some incredible pieces. It was like the Polonsky collection, which was amazing. And then I also checked out the cathedral. And you know, these were open places you can just walk right in. And it was so cool to see. I'm gonna go now to the hotel to change, go for a drink with a friend at Casa Cipriani, and then go to dinner tonight at this place called Mama, Mama, Mama. Mama. I should know I booked it, but anyway, it's with my friends Brittany and Casper, so we'll have a great night. Really looking forward to it. Back home, back to London. I had the best time in New York. It was so good. Can't wait to go back. I almost forgot to tell you that I have some very exciting news because when I came back to New York and I landed, I caught up with my mom and she gave me a very special gift. Probably the best gift she's ever given me, but obviously she also raised me, so I have to be very grateful for that. <laughs> but this has to be the most special gift you could ever give me. I'm gonna show you everything in the next vlog, so make sure you're subscribed. 
don't miss it and um thanks for watching Mwah. bye